First in the long line of blades to come from the CamCan Wind Energy Corporation. So I finished the paint job off. I don't know, what do you think? I think it adds about 100 RPM to the uh, finished speed. Does it look any better or faster from this angle? I'm sure there are some of them, some of you out there that'll appreciate it. Just a fun little project I decided to take on today. And I mean, these blades of wings, I should say, have stood up to a month of abuse uh, with the wind and. They're what I would, they were just a test blade initially, and they still are. Just a quick throw it together type of blade. Wind, wing took me, once I'd finished figuring out what the design was, it took me every bit of uh, half to three quarters of an hour to put them together. I've done a few refinements on them since then, but. As I say, they have stood up to uh, a month of flying here. Been through winds up to 90 kilometers per hour. All they are is foam with a very light aluminum skin glued onto it. And uh, this set has got absolutely no reinforcements in the attachment points. I've got small L brackets that I have bolted on to give me some uh, mount angle adjustments. And uh, the fiberglass rod is mounted solidly to the center of the rotor and that rotor is attached to a 120 volt DC motor. It's about a 1300 RPM or thereabouts. 2.8 amp draw. Um, and that basically the whole story on the, on the rig there. You can see the real light duty mounts I've got here. Not really much going on there. I've got a uh, dog tether leading down to the ground and screwed into the ground. A uh, piece of frayed up old nylon rope coming this way, tied to a brick. 
and a piece of a uh, clothesline attached to another brick over that way. What really takes the strain that is on there is that uh, dog leash. Had to detune them to take that last picture so you could see what the paint pattern is. There's with the blade set at the proper angle. I'm going to finish the painting by putting another red maple leaf on the top white portion and I'll be putting a white maple leaf on the red center portion.